Yeah. Right, get yourself ready. Oh, my your video's going up tonight. Am I being filmed again now? Hmm? Am I yeah. being... Why? So you want your, it's going to follow your progress during your driving test. And they're going to watch your pass first time. So every time now? <coughs> yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> I've not prepared myself. What do you mean you've not prepared yourself for? You watch the videos. Oh um, yeah. Right, you've prepared yourself. Well, not properly though. I haven't watched. What? I've watched one of them. One of them. They're yeah. only two minutes long. I know, but I had an exam. Oh right, well you should have watched them videos. Instead of doing my exam. Oh yeah, I want you to look smart when I when he gives all the right answers. I'll well, tell me the answers and then and start filming. If the if this if this is Again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is that not too high? No, what's wrong with it? That's it. No. Okay. Can I wait for everyone to leave? Do you remember your voice? You sound like a frog. <laughs> I've got a bad throat. Oh, poor bed. How are we getting mirrors done? <laughs> you make me sound like a uh, well spoken man, a <laughs> gentleman, which is very hard to do. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Are you all ready? Yeah, I think Good. so. Good, what did we do last time then? Um, like pedestrian crossings and stuff. Yeah. Zebra crossings with a nine in the middle, you treat as one or two. I can't remember. Two, isn't it? Yes, well yeah. What about light control ones? Um, one. Good. What about staggered crossings? Two. What, um, what can you not do with a pedestrian crossing? Um, can you wave them across? No. Can you, what can you overtake? You can overtake a bike. Cycle so it's safe. Good. Right. Just scan both sides of them. Now, I told you to watch Progress Town and Progress Country. So, on your driving test, it's important that you know all the speed limits on the road. So, if it's regular street light and it's built up, what's the speed limit? Yeah. There's two ways it can be 40, how can you tell? I don't know. <clears throat> hmm? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I told you to watch the video so you look good. <laughs> now, 75% of your speed limits change at the start of the road you're coming in out of or the start of the road you're going into yeah so if you're driving down the road and you're not sure the speed limit have a look in the side road if you see a 30 it means this speed limit is different to that one so what's going to be the speed limit on here i don't know well, what do you mean <laughs> so if you're not sure the speed limit duh you look in the side road so if you see 30 signs in the side road, it means this speed limit is different to this road. So this one's changed. So what's this one going to be? Can't be a 30 because that one's a 30. So what's a 40? It's a 40. Now, if you drive down the road and you don't see any signs, well, you know your side road's a 30. So if you don't see any signs, then it means this speed limit has got to be 30. It's got 30. to be the same as that one. So it's only if there's signs. So to see. keep it simple, okay. if you see 30s in the side road, you're on a 40. Mm -hmm. If you don't see any signs, you're on a 30. There you go. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, you don't always get them repeated, uh, sorry, them signs in the side road. So you maybe check the next one. The other clue is repeat the signs, them little small signs you see on poles and um, lamp posts. That's to remind you that it's 40. You've, you, very rare you get repeat the signs for 30 roads unless you're out in the countryside somewhere when you go through little villages to have repeat the signs but if there's no repeat the signs there's no 30s in the side road uh, 30s in the side road it's going to be a 30. if there's 30s in the side well, road if there is then it's a 40 good so on the driving test if you're sitting I'm talking about a nice clear road if you're sitting doing 30 miles an hour why is the examiner not going to be happy for because you'll be slow in the traffic. And what do traffic behind normally do when they get angry? Beep and shout. And overtake. That's one of the one of the one of the worst manoeuvres you can do. Overtake. So the examiner will be over the moon about 35, 36 somewhere around. But they don't have to do the 40, about 35 miles an hour. Yeah. Now, 
If you're doing 31, I'm talking about a nice clear 30 road. If you're doing 31, 32, guess what the exam says? They're not very happy. You don't get it wrong. You don't get it wrong no, if you're going right. over 30. If you're doing 31, 32, you're not going to get it wrong for the dome market, not that I've seen. Now, if you're doing 33s, 34s, you're going to get minor faults. If you do 35s for a period of time, you're going to get a serious fault. And the thick end of 30, you're going to fail. So, you could fail for doing 30 and a 30. Why is that? Why could you fail for doing 30 and a 30? Is it like, um, like what's around you? Yeah, like but like, like park cars and stuff. Exactly right. So it's common sense, really, isn't it? Um, so this road's a 30. There's no way you do 30 around here, would you? No. Right, what does that sign mean? Um, like when the light's on. So this is... It's 20, but it's an advisory. So if you see loads of kids about and the lights are flashing, keep it under the 20. If there's no kids about, it's nice and clear. Imagine the road's a 30. Then I'd probably do about 25, 26, somewhere around about there. If it was a 40, I'd probably do about the 30 mark. Yeah? Right, what does that sign mean? Which video did you watch then? I can't remember. <laughs> I just watched watch one of the ones you told me to. Well, what does that sign mean? I don't know. You don't know? No. Why did you pass your theory? I didn't get that one. That's no. the only one I forget. Well, that means now, if you've watched the video, this would have been all explained to you. That means national speed limit. Yeah. So which is on a, on a single carriageway road, it's... 60. On a dual carriageway? 70. Is that a dual carriageway? Yeah. No, that's no. not a dual carriageway. No. How do you know it's not a dual carriageway? Because it hasn't got like, the thingy. In the middle. <laughs> so I'll tell you, another way of looking it at it, if you roll a football across the road and it doesn't stop in the middle, it's not a dual carriageway. That one's a dual carriageway. How do you know that? Because it's separated. It's separated by a strip of land, a barrier, fence, whatever. Now, these types of roads, you could be looking at 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. You're going to tell me how fast you're going to drive today. Now, Ben's on the country roads. There's three people killed on the country roads every day. All right, that sounds good. Can you tell me what the limit point is? <clears throat> Not very high. Hmm? <laughs> I don't know. I'm working with Amit Izzy. If she'd been watching my videos, <laughs> what I made, this would be water off a duck's back. So the limit point is the furthest part as you can see on the road. So how we deal with bends. If you're approaching a bend to the right, I want you to keep the position to the left as you go around. And if the limit point is there, and as you approach the bend, the limit point keeps moving. That's telling you it's a nice sweeping bend. Have you got that? So you probably go third or fourth. If you come to a bend, that's really sharp. There's the limit point, look, see it? Mm -hmm. As you're approaching that bend, that limit point's not moving. So what's that tell you about the bend? It's like really sharp. So, so you'd go, go and, So you go, what gear would you go for? Um, first or second. Second. Norm, normally second. It might be the other one where you're going first, but normally second. So your speed should be the slowest as you approach the bend and you accelerate gently through it. Bends to the left. Do not be tempted to go to the centre of the road to get a better view. I need you to just keep in the middle of your lane. You got that? So today, you're going to tell me how fast you're driving such and such roads and give me the reasons why. Does that make sense? Yeah. Good. Okay, right so much to concentrate on. You are? There's so much to concentrate on now that I've got to think about how fast I'm going. Mm, next stage. When you're ready then. And then how much more have I got after that? Loads. Loads? Now I'm going to put the echo on the deer. So put all these windows up. You are? Yes. Okay. Still not right. <laughs> now, when you adjust your seat, I know, I didn't realize don't I had leave it in, it in gear. gear. I know. I thought I left it in here. Alright. I actually did. I've had time this having a moment. I wish I had a poem for every time I've seen that. Me? No, with learner so drivers. I've never done that. I put it in first and then just the seat. Oh no, I didn't realise I had it in um, I've anything. Cut, I've definitely cut that part out. Thank you. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. 
difficult isn't it? Yes. So why don't you gargle some salt water or drink hot and cold fluids? I bet you I bet you haven't you've got sore throat because you've been shouting, haven't you? Well, I ain't even so much. Till the next time. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Now look at the end of the road, what signs did we see? 30. So this road's a 20, isn't it? Yes. So all roads are feeling now 30, we're turning left. What happened to the roll in first gear? Because I thought I was going to go. Yeah, but you still need the roll in first gear because we couldn't see much. I don't have to worry about you with pedestrian crossings today, do I? Uh -huh. Good. <laughs> How did your exam go then? Which one it did? Mm -hmm. It was alright. Yeah. Do you think you're doing well in it? Yeah, I think I've done alright. Yeah. First time past this one, aren't you? I hope so. Yeah. Got lead in her right foot, that's for sure. She's a bit heavy on the gas, but it's better than not having any of her. At the roundabout, turn left. Is there any speed signs? No. Nope. So all roads are now 30 still. Still 30 miles an hour. Take the next immediate lift. Any speed signs we come in this road? So it's still 30. It's still 30. <clears throat> and can you follow the signs for pity me? Feels like you should be slowing down and going in the second gear. Sorry. What do you do to leave the roundabout? Well, have you gone over in 30? But I've gone over a bit fast. The car starts to chug on. Yeah. Now this is a 30. So what would you be happy with on this type of road? Like 27. It's not, it's yeah. not too busy. Is it? 
be here often, you? Yeah, that's what I always think. It's a bit shopping, yeah, I'll be going there, look. They yeah. get rid of you. Yeah, but he didn't. No, we should just pull it out. No, <laughs> I'd crash your car. You wouldn't. Now, what signs you see up ahead? Where? <laughs> the yeah. speed limit ones? Yeah, it's the roundabout turn left. So all roads of, of this road are now 60 or 70. Single carriage at 60, dual at 70. So how fast should we drive on this road? Like 50, 50. Yeah, I had a pupil fail here. Guess how fast you drove over here? It's like 35. Oh, it's 35? How did you know that? It's 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 it? Yeah. Damn, it was painful. <laughs> Wouldn't care she'd been on the road. So the examiner would be all about 45, 50. Have we been in fifth gear? Need to go in the second gear a couple of bus lanes back. Okay. Put gas on first, so no clutch, and no, we'll be stalling again. Oh dear, dear, dear. It's like <laughs> keep left, isn't it? Yeah. Now that you've done the same thing on your video, you've got to keep the left. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you need to put your eyes where that left wheel wants to go when you go around the corner. I know, but I feel like when I'm going like around. You go to the left when you go around. I know, I feel like I should be on the right though. No, we we'll go and see a doctor. Um, <laughs> it's a 40, isn't it? So how fast should we drive on this road? How fast would you say? Like 35. 35, yeah. Well, not even more. Will you look left as you go around the roundabouts? So look, tell us when you see your repeater sign, we remind you that it's 40. There you go. And if you look on that side road, there was no 30 signs there, but what happens is you check the next one because they're not always... Yeah. Um, they don't always have them in. So this, this is a really good speed. Look at the next side road on the left. Have a look on this side and tell me what you see. Okay. So that means this is. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Good. Now you can't feel for driving too fast and too slow. Okay? <laughs> oh, no. That's the plan. That's the plan. Now when the traffic the lights. That's not fair at all. Daily speed signs. 30. So all roads are now 30. Had them signs not have been there, what would have been the speed limit on this road? <laughs> what was the last one we're on? So this one would be Four, yeah. but because the sign's there, it's 30. Does that make sense? Yeah. Good. So now that you know it's 30, yeah. don't go over it. No, no. <laughs> Do you think your speed's okay on this road? I mean, yeah, I should probably be a bit slower because it's like parked cars and stuff. Yeah, well, we're definitely showing off today, are we? <laughs> Follow the signs for Crook. Okay, check that car before you bring it. Need to get you too late again. Yeah. And a couple of bus lines back in one second gear. The blockers look. Uh, put it in first. Why? Put it in, that's why. You should leave it now, leave it. <laughs> Then take the next row on the left here. And then pull up on the left for me. After the cars. Please. <laughs> I was going to say, I can't do it that quick. Mm -hmm. I almost left that. Do you need a signal? No, because there's nobody in my mouth. Q 
few of the curbs. That's it. Roy, can you explain why you would go at that roundabout? Because I was stressed. <laughs> Stress what for? In case someone crashed into me. Where from? Well, they nearly did because you, you, um, the car <laughs> behind. I can't change gear. No, the car behind thought you were going. Right, you're there. Yeah. This car's in the left lane. Where's it got to go? Left. There's co cars coming over there. What do we call them? Starts with a B. A. I don't know. <laughs> Blockers. Can you remember? Blockers. Yes. So these cars here were stopping that car from going. What should you do? Just go. She's gone. I know, but I thought I'd let her come back. Well, they could. Well, they were over there, look. I know. But by the time they come round there, you'd be aware and gone. I know. Now, don't get me wrong, if it's here, I could understand that you would hesitate, but they were over there. I would have just drove straight on the road <laughs> and put it in the second gear, a couple of whistlings, but drive on my own. Was that it? You just stopped me and told me off? Yeah. I'm putting that in on the video. <laughs> what, me getting told off? Yes. That's not telling off, is it? Don't get your blind spot. Why? It's, it's such a myth. Well, I don't tell you off, but it's such a myth, dear me. I don't believe in <clears> blind spots. You don't believe in blind spots? Well, no. wait, wait, let's see what they're doing. I don't like this, Rose. Silly sausage. <laughs> Silly sausage. <laughs> Lessons now, with all the parked cars, yeah. what speed would you drive up here? Right, 22. But what are you doing here? 24. Because somebody might open the door, cars might move off without warning, people might cross them. So sure there's a few people there um, being knocked over here. You know, you've already scanned the crossing, haven't you? Yeah. Leave your middle mirror when you see it. I thought they might have changed with that guy being there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking since there is for it? a while, yeah. Now, do you see the national? Yeah, so need a, going a bit faster. You need a mirror check first, this is where people like to overtake. Is nobody overtaken? No. You'd accelerate now. How fast should we drive on this road? I don't know. What would you say? Like, maybe like 45, 50. Well, I'd probably do. I don't want to hit him. Get your foot off the gas. I don't want to hit him. Nearly killed the pheasant. I know I did, I didn't want to hit him, but I didn't want to go all over. Why well, didn't you take your foot off the gas? <laughs> I did. Right now, check your mirrors. Yes, he's very close, he's getting he's a bit angry. Him. Well, but he's been. So we should do, this will do for now, about 45, that's all it would. So when the road opens up, I want you to check where it's in speed or whatever that. When the road, yeah. no, when the road closes down, I want you to check where it's in slow down. Why does it want to come so close? Because you're driving a bit slower now. Well. Right, so when you get round here, can you see the road starts to open up? Yeah, so I'm going to go for So you want to go for about the 50 mark here. Now, a wide road, you need to be a metre from the curb. See the national again? Yeah. Has this car overtaken? No. No. Get your foot out. How fast should we drive on this road? Faster than go on. What would you say about the 50? Right, 50, yeah. yeah. Go on, straight to your next gear. 
times. Now another clue that it's national speed limit when there's no repeater signs, there's no uh, street light, it means it's national. So can you see the road opens up? Yeah. Have a mirror check and then accelerate. Straight again. the limit point didn't move. Yeah. Now if we break there we would just stall in the middle of the road. Yeah. Listen to your engine. Now have a look at the road and see how it opens up. Yeah. Okay, from it. Now what speed should we go on here? What right. would you say? 45. Yeah, 45. Have a look. Is anybody overtaken? Because the reason I wouldn't do 50 is quite narrow and bumpy, isn't it? Well, you wouldn't come along here at 30, would you? No. Right, now, how about you do the next country road on your own without me saying a word? I want to see if you drive too fast or too slow. Have you got that? Yes. So remember my tips. When the road opens up, check your mirrors and speed up. When the road closes down, check your mirrors and slow down. Have you got that? Yes. You can't see around the bends. Put it in a second. So it's all yours on this next road. I've been stumbling up here. Oh, I can't, it's quiet. Put the music on if you want. Put the music on. What channel do you like? Oh, no. I can't be the last time I had the radio on. <laughs> you don't want to get done on your YouTube though. Can we have all that like? Because it's copyright, isn't it? Me? Eh? It's copyright if you have music on. You get wrong. Right, silence, yeah. <laughs> Taylor like her. <laughs> Silence. Oh, I like Taylor Swift. <laughs>
went up that bank with the white van come off you slowed down a bit too much yeah. and then you went along the road it was a bit slow with the car behind us nitpicking by the way and then when it got closed so down scary. when it closed down you started to speed up a bit more and i think well i would have been slowed down but overall it's nothing to worry too much about but if I, I did that on my test would i be fine you know, here we go test yeah you'd be fine yeah get a minor fault for driving a bit slow Okay. In a certain place. Yeah, but I wouldn't like you, fail. You, you know, you only need to take your speed up about another five or six miles per hour. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was all right. Um, did the music put you off? No. Hmm? No, that would have been worse for a silent. Would it? Yeah. Right, now let's see how you do on the next one, okay? Another, another one. one. Yes.